In this video we see how to establish a point-to-point -point connection in a Cisco packet tracer using two end devices or using a switch middle in the end device. For this purpose, we use end devices like desktop PC, laptops or servers, etc. For this purpose, we use a desktop PC, a laptop, and a server machine also. After taking the end device then establish a cable connection using this many types of cable. When we click the cable connection option then we see many types of cable. First cable are used for automatically choose the connection type which means these cables are used for everywhere and cable are act and cross cable. Console cable, fiber cable, copper straight through cable, twisted pair cable etc. We know that every end level device uses copper cross over cable that why we use copper cross over cable. After selecting this cable connect this into PC1 fast Ethernet 0 to the laptop fast Ethernet 0 port. After using this cable we see that a green triangle means those two devices are physically connected each other. After a physical connection established we establish a logical connection between in these two devices. One thing you know that these PC icons are actually physical device a logical symbol. Every day we use physical device that are touch but these device is not touchable but act and physical device. After that we click in the PC and choose config menu and see global config mode for showing physical part and after that we see below of interface is fisted in its zero option. Click this option and see more option are available in the right side we see the MAC address cows of this a physical device and that is a physical port of NIC. We work for now IP configuration portion. Here we see DHCP and static option we choose static option cows of we provide an IP address manually. After that we put an IP address is 10.11.10.1 and hit enter. And we autofill the subnet mask option cows this is class A private IP address. For the first time we didn't use getaway. We create a big scenario the use getaway. After that we click the desktop option and click command prompt option. For this we ensure it what is the IP address this PC for this we use command ip config and hit enter. And see the PC IPv4 address is 10.11.10.1 and we see the gateway IP is 0.0.0.0, .0 cause of in the networking we see every device is used default gateway is 0.0.0.0. .0 .0 .0. And subnet mask to 55.0.0.0. After that, we click the laptop icon and choose the config option. After choosing config, use interface 0. If you do not understand what type IP we use and why we use, then please see my IP class playlist from our channel. And put the IP address is 10.11.10.2. After putting IP address then select desktop option and click the command prompt option and hit enter after that use it config command to see the details of the interface of this laptop. After that we check our two devices is logically connected or not for that we use ping to other devices IP address if the ping is successful. Then we ensure this PC is physically and logically connected each other. So we ping the IP is 10.11.10.1 and hit enter then see that the ping is successful 100%. What is ping? 
Ping basically use echo if one people say hello other people say that hi and first people listen okay. For that laptoping using this physical path from laptop end to PC end and first PC listened after that Thai reply is reply okay then Ping is successful. So we see that Ping is successful and reply from 10.11.10.1. IP means desktop PC echo the message that is sent from laptop. For this reason we say that that PC send a message and second PC first listens after listen to second PC reply I am alive or active. When we use the simulation option then we clear the message send and received methodology. For that we again ping laptop to desktop PC and see what happened. When we active simulation mode, then type ping and hit enter and see that. First laptop generates a message and send a second PC. We see laptop, send message to desktop PC and see the terminal then see not a single ping successful. When PC send reply message then one ping is successful and see laptop show one ping is successful. For this way we successful for message. For this scenario we not lost any ping. Now we see that a service is hosted a server and logging this service using web browser. So we need a server machine. We can see for this purpose we take a server machine. After that we connect a PC to a server. For this scenario we know that every end device has a single NIC port. That why we need a single end device or break the connection. For this we take another PC and connect to each other. When those two devices are physically connected then show green triangle. After that we put an IP address each device like first device IP address is 10.11.11.0. After that we put an IP server machine is 10.11.11.2. After we see that device IP address using ipconfig. Another is ipconfig and see 10.11.11.0 for this we use this device IP address is 10.11.11.1. For now we test connect in PC to server. So that open command prompt and write ping 10.11.11.2. And hit enter and see ping is successful. For now we check using browser. So that first click their browser option. Also see that server this type of service provides. Like HTTP, DHCP, TFTP, DNS, etc. And write HTTP and IP address is 10.11.11.2. And hit enter after that we see something. Which are host this server you. For now we use this PC and search using HTTP. After entering 10.11.11.2. From the browser we see some file are show some image and text which are hosted in server PC. When we click the image then see Cisco image after back we click image page then see Cisco image page and a small page include hello world and others. Your HTTP means hypertext transfer protocol. And HTTPS means hypertext transfer protocol secure. After of HTTP protocol. Then see what happened. Again we browser write HTTP and 10.11.11.2 and hit enter. 
the message is show request timeout. When we use HTTPS then see previous file is shown so we see that a protocol used to see this hosted file if one protocol is off then this type request didn't serve. So now we use a switch for a point-to-point -point connection. We use Cisco Catalyst 2900 series switch and connect it to each other. FOW now we see that this is one kind of point-to-point -point connection. After the green symbol, we ping PC to laptop then C ping is successful. Switch works for switching the traffic. Next tutorial we see in detail about PDU list and file forwarding way using the OSI model. For now we see the simulation option and click the message option and see which path traffic going and what message they transfer with their second layer they need MAC address. Inbound PDU we see the protocol version. They use which port they use what is the source IP and what is the destination IP address. We discuss in detail next tutorial. Bye for now. Thanks for watching carefully.